Timothy. Um, hello. Oh my god, it's so lag, but yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to the stream. And if you listen to something, yes, I did switch up the background music. If it's too loud, please do tell me because I feel like for now it's okay. But I hope you enjoy you like the new background music. And I know the stream isn't in the best condition right now, but hopefully it will get better during uh, the stream later on. But today we're gonna mainly focus on drawing the YouTuber model again. And also maybe sometimes for the what, comic drawing as well. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a relaxing stream. Oh my god, hello, welcome to the stream. And let me switch the screen. Oh, oh my god, the cable is not working. Let me fix it. Hopefully, it will be fixed. Uh, yes. So, I'm just gonna open this and start drawing. We, I think I finished. Uh, some part of the clothes. This is my progress right now. I just laid down the base color. It isn't even finished. Mostly. Here are the mouth guides. Oh my god, the cable is so stupid. But hopefully this cable will work. I'm gonna <laughs> cut off this cable. Hello, is it working? Oh, there we go. And it disconnected again. Cable does not want to work today. Uh, I'm gonna spend all my time fixing the cable today. And, yep. I'm gonna stop moving the iPad unless something long, really bad happens. But, I'm gonna. I actually finished. I'm gonna paint something on here. Yeah. Fixed. And then I'm gonna switch. Uh, is the display working? Ah. Uh, oh, oh, everything's coming apart. No. Connect. Please. Connect. Hello? Ah. Uh, Today's gonna be rough. I'm gonna change my table set up a bit. Uh, my table is not the tidiest. I should clean up sometime, but for now it will do. And yep. And this is working. And I'm gonna start painting the coat first. I, I have if you want to chat, just pop in and just let me know. Oh god, my screen. Is the Wi-Fi so bad today? I do have a reference in hand. And I'm just going to follow this as the I'm just gonna combine the color with the main part of the coat. Also, I made this coat to be removable just because if the screen's going weird, please do tell me in the chat so that I can fix it right away. 
also I finished the first V2 room giveaway model. And yeah, I really am glad that there are more people participating. That's the whole point of a giveaway, which is like kind of a gambling event. <laughs> Way more fun. The earrings first. Giving you my lead painting. Also, I finished watching the. Oh my god, the cable! Jesus Christ, it does not want to work for me today. Let me fix this real quick. Welcome to the newcomers. I am just fixing my cables. I'm gonna try a new one. But, as I was saying, I went to watch uh, Across the Spider Verse yesterday. It was a really good. And I would recommend people who haven't watched it to go watch it. Because it made me cry from the first scene right at the end and I was really surprised at the ending. Anyway, let's continue. I've been doing some color study on the movie as well. Did not disappoint, the animation is still so and it doesn't seem to be working. Come on, work. I want to spend the whole day fixing the cable. Hello? Yes. Okay, hopefully it will stay working for the entire stream. As I was saying, I started some color study, especially on Gwen's like, art style. The cable is not working. Let me try the other plug because I feel like it's the plug's problem. Hello. Hopefully it stays that way. And for Gwen's palette, I really love it. It's like pink and watercolor, very dreamy. It's not really real, but... Ah, oh, goddammit! It doesn't want to work. Oh god. I can see the connection is really bad. On this particular day, why? And the YouTube connection doesn't seem to be working as well. What a great day to stream, isn't it? Draw some faults. A bit of light. Just because this is the top part of school. Change back this much school. Get a general color first, and then I'm gonna go in with the hard edge. Like this. And, yep. Doesn't seem to be working. Guys. Oh my god, it's so glitchy. 
is there something wrong with me? Am I hacked? Because the audio isn't supposed to be glitchy as well. Oh, is it working now? Hopefully it is. I'm gonna plug the cable in now. If it's not working, then computer sound is probably dead. And oh god, the disconnect in the chat as well. The Wi-Fi is so bad today. Hopefully it's not gonna. It's not connecting it now. Oh sh damn. Let me try again.
Are you joking? My headset wasn't working for the past few minutes. Ah, the headset isn't even working properly. Why? You know what? This stream is terrible. I want to change. I didn't even change the title. Silent stream or OBS bug. Oh god. This stream is so chaotic. Hello. Yes. My OBS is going crazy. Please! Please behave! No. Uh. Uh. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna just connect the cable. Mm. Let me see what I could do to. 
in a better way. But in the meantime, you guys can chat in the stream. Yes, flip the table! Because <laughs> you're mad, I'm mad. Uh -huh. Why? Why are you doing this? Try again. Once we get one thing working, the other does not work. Please stay this way. Don't go glitching. Thank you. <laughs> Can't believe I'm flipping off with the OBS screen. <gasps> Look, it's working! Yes! Yes! It's working! Oh my god, okay, we can finally have a normal art stream now. As I was saying, for this part, I think it could be lighter. Like this. And for the upcoming week, I'm going to go to a water park. What a surprise. Also, I've been, uh, what do you call it, uploading more of the process videos because I feel like that could be helpful to some upcoming artists and I do feel like my art skills have been improving since the summer started because I have more time to do, do things. Yes, Yatta, yes. Even though it's glitching again, no! <laughs> Okay. iPad? Can you please? Please. Behave. 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 Stay that way. Or else I'm gonna use duct tape and stick the whole cable thing right there tightly so that it doesn't move. <sighs> I think that's it for the code. <laughs> and so I touch it and then it the, the, the. Do I have to hold it this way for the entire stream? Seems like it. God damn it. Guys, if you want to stream in the future, please do afford in uh, better equipment. I'm holding it! What you're doing? And disconnected as well? Hello? God damn it. I hate this. <laughs> oh my god, it keeps disconnecting. No. Hello? You are indeed a cursed monster. I can't even draw you on stream. And I'm gonna work on the color right now. <sighs> My VTuber son, upcoming future son, why are you so hard to deal with? I forgot to paint it. Color part, but like the silver part, but you know, at this point, OBS is bullying me. I don't even care anymore. Once you have a nice background music, something else is not working. That thing right now will be OBS itself. Oh 
god. It's still going! Oh look! Background music change. Yes, I did put together a few different soundtracks. And I think this part could be lighter to differentiate. Yes, he is hot. He's my son. I don't want you to be cursed, but you are right now. You're proving yourself to me that you're a cursed baby boy. Your mom doesn't want you to be that way. Do you understand? And you know what? I'm just gonna ignore the green thing. Because... Ah, I can't ignore it because it's flashing right in front of my eyes. God damn it. A bit more lighting. Yeah, it's nice. And then the details. I'm gonna add a quick thing later. And I'm gonna draw in the. what do you call it? The silver part. Because I forgot to at the beginning. It goes down here. I paint it outside of the background. I'll erase that carefully. Yeah, that looks much better. And then, did I miss something else? Ah! I clicked it outside. But I'm gonna. Where's the reference yet? Yeah, here it is. Uh, he's got a lining we can color that in action. So we don't need to paint it. Yep. And then... Yeah, I think that's all we need to actually draw in the line art. And I'm gonna add the details now. Uh... For the lining, white. More than one straight line. Oops, forgot to turn on assist. Drawing assist. And then. Oops. I'm going to draw in the line. Illustration brushes. Oh, medium airbrush. If you're new here, ignore the bug. Just enjoy the nice music and maybe blink every time it pops out like a green thing. Trust me, I tried fixing it. Try to see if I could make it better. I should. Good. Ah, uh, let me try this. See if it's better. Look. Hello? Is it better? Hopefully it is, I'm gonna continue drawing. To make it pop out even more, I'm gonna use a dark color to show that there's a white lining here. Yeah, that should work. If you have like a very light color and you want to show it, but the background is also a light color, then you could use a very thin dark color to make it stand out a bit. That's how I usually paint things. And I remember uh, our teacher t telling me this as well. 
maybe you could learn and try it yourself sometime. Then the golden button. Again, how I use. Ah, <gasps> yes, that is better. Wow, I did fix it. I'm so good at tech. Yes. Mainly like metallic items is basically uh, splotches of light, hard splotches with hard edges. Just give it really hard contrast and then you will have yourself a metallic surface. There is the button and also the sleeve. This model relatively is easier for me to do. One because I haven't done like female body types before. Second is because even though you see there is a lot of layers, it doesn't need to have that much layer dividing for this model, particularly. More realistic. Now is kind of a bit too dark. Bugging me. There. And then we're gonna paint in the silver lining. We're gonna face color, but a little bit bluish, just so it's not too bland. And we're gonna use the gray base color to paint in the lining. I'm gonna erase the things I painted outside of the boundaries. And continue. And I'm gonna turn on alpha lock. And I'm just painting some blotches again. I forgot to put on drawing assist. God, I have to do that again. I am not copy and pasting because that's actually more of a hassle to ensure that it's exactly the same on each side. Now we're going to repeat the same thing with the metallic button as well. I really do hope the people who take the opportunity to learn how to use light to be and break and stuff. But for now, I'm just excited to see who wins. <laughs> Who's going to be my first son and daughter of YouTuber. And you know what? I'm a really negotiable person, so everything could go. Like I could help you draw like an illustration if I have time before your debut. I would gladly help you to draw like an illustration piece for your first debut, like uh, thumbnail, and maybe some character reference sheets. All of these are just points if I could have time to do it. 
Time is the only main issue here for me right now. That's about equipment. The bare minimum I could do is like procreate quality, which is not bad, but professionalized, not really what you should be aiming for. I'm going to try to upgrade my equipment to like PZ level. Even my mic right now is not even a proper mic. It's just a uh, mic paired in a he headphone. The reason I could record a slightly better quality of audio for the YouTube short recently is because I used my phone. But now I need to use my phone for like tracking, so I can't do that. But. Today is also the outfit reveal of Nautics, really nice one, especially love like Uki's style. Not because of the long hair, even though I like long hair, but, but it's like the slightly casual and like lazy reveal of the entire outfit. That's what I like. If you guys watch Nautics, feel free to tell me which one you like. And it's a really good study because I am learning how to design like characters and outfits for my webcomic and also the what I'm doing now. Need to move on to actually doing the pattern now, which is uh, not the easiest job. <laughs> Remember to turn on drawing this. First, use a hard white color. Trace out like a shape. Random curves for the pattern. Make a curve here according to the reference photo. I'm giving the lines different weight so that it looks different. Is supposed to resemble waves. And then it curves over and branch this into two parts. Like this and then back over with this part. Yeah. I'm gonna make one of them thinner. And then I'm mainly gonna reference on one side. This could actually go back in. Like this, make a little bubble shape. Same again. Adding variations is an easy way to make patterns. And that looks nice. And these could have an empty center. And then we repeat. The wave.
but it is painted gold for my hair. Turn off of lock. Yes. Wait a minute. Go back to the white color. And it seems like my avatar is frozen, but you know I'm going to continue anyways. Is frozen. I'm gonna repeat the same pattern here. Empty in the center. I'm gonna try something. Oh, okay. Let's try this we're getting something. And I'm gonna merge it like this. Yeah, not bad. And we add back the bubble. Same thing here. Merge it and waste it. Yeah, not bad, not bad. It actually looks like ways. I'm going to turn on alpha lock now. Add a bit, just a little bit of variation. Enlarge the brush so that it doesn't. Oh, it can stay white. But it look weird, so I'm going to put a shadow right at the center. Just too harsh, maybe. How is this better? But it kind of clashes with the color. The color so I'm just gonna make it gray. Maybe give some random shadows. Yeah, it looks much nicer, like without just a bland white color. Also, happy Father's Day, everybody. <laughs> I almost forgot. I did celebrate Father's Day, don't you worry. Forgot as in, I forgot to tell you guys, happy Father's Day. Oh yeah, also, I've been considering going on a little hiatus like as in to focus on my studies which next year for me is really important but also because I think I need a break <laughs> in content creating I do love doing that but it's just really pressured to, like pressuring to do it not exactly know when, but hopefully if I do, it's mainly for a year, half a year time, but hopefully it won't be longer than that. And if I really do I'll go on hiatus, I hope you guys will still go ahead and support my journey after I come back. I will announce dates, don't you worry. It's not like, I don't know when you're coming back. No, it's nothing like that. Anyway, we can continue painting. I actually want to try something else. Because I remember there's a brush that is in this Victorian pattern. So I'm going to make a small, small brush. No, I only paint all one color. Like one one size. Okay, that isn't working out. So we're gonna do it the traditional way. We're just painting it in. And I will promise you guys, if I go on, I really do go on hiatus, 
I will have a new outfit thing coming after I come back. Just because I, you know, I want a little bit of a change. But that's all a talk for later. worth it if I actually go on hiatus. I could focus more on my studies. It depends. Maybe I could try to make a different shape here. Get the whole Kindness difference though is fine. I panicked a little bit. Reduction is also a really nice way to call my method of drawing patterns. Mm. Some more variations on top. What can we add? Bubbles? I feel like we don't have enough bubbles. <laughs> Balance. No, I don't like it. Reverted. it. Yeah. And then the lower part. What should we do with this? I can't move the symmetry. Oh my god, why is it disconnected like every three seconds? Please connect. Don't go jumpy all over me. Start painting the monster. For this, I will actually use a technical pencil. I want to be more precise. And I think it goes something like this. If you haven't participated in the giveaway, it's your this is your chance to do so. It's still not it's still open. And you will win one of two of the VTuber models. Hopefully, this one will be yours. If you're in here, you could say hi because I am currently really focused right now. More bubbles. <laughs> Too small. Yeah, that's much better. And then I am going to continue the spur drawing. I need to be really focused for this one. Wait, my reference doesn't look like that. A good thing about sketches is that you don't need to be too detailed. Because right now, I can't figure out what I drew in the reference. I'm gonna do what I feel like it's good looking. Sometimes you just need to trust the gut feel, you know? Let's 
shorter. So that fits in the perspective. But for the center, this person should be a bit closer. and eyes I think the brush is too thick now it's smaller and then connect it to a beast nose I, you know what I just realized? <laughs> Both of the giveaway VTubers are blue-ish being, so... They could be brothers and sisters. I do want to hook up the two people who got the VTubers at the end. So, you know, be friends. So that they could help each other out during their VTuber journey. Which is really important, actually. You need all the help you can get, you know? I think you could have a little whisper thing to resemble a dragon. I think that's what I've been thinking while I was drawing at the beginning. And he's got the horns, the ears. For the center, I think we could do a trident type of icon like this, and then pointy at the bottom just to follow the general shape. Yeah, not bad, not bad. To make it look more balanced with both sides. Ah, oh, drawing without a symmetry tool is hard. And then, I feel like we could add a bit of dimension here. Same with the whiskers. And I think we're almost done. We just need the teeth. The big demon teeth at the sides. The little teeth. Little fangs. That's why I'm supposed to. At the bottom. Remember the lower teeth fangs are in front of the upper teeth fangs. I forgot where I like remembered that, but that's how I draw things for now. And then done. Now we get the shadow part. We could have some fur here. Yeah, that looks quite complete actually. And we could continue to the bottom part, which is the clouds. Which I would still use the technical pencil for now. And then I'm gonna switch to illustration, like the airbrushes later. clouds. And then I'm going to erase it to make it sharper. Yeah, that's nice. And same with this. I'm actually going to see if overlay works. Not what I wanted how I wanted it to work, but you know, I'm just gonna make it back to normal. Turn on alpha lock. I just I will just turn off the opacity a bit. Oh, you love the eyes? Yeah, he's got two versions actually. 
me show you. I made two versions, one with just the normal eyes, one with dark eyes. Yeah! Cool, right? And he could make it so that he could toggle the two versions. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm gonna actually use a light. And now I need to grab my illustration brush to give a softer light look. That's too harsh. I think a good way to practice, like without looking references, is that you could learn how to draw. Patterns is to just draw a lot and have a good grasp of curves and sh uh, different shades. Like, look at the combinations, the weight of different lines, and that's how I, at least how I improve my like pattern drawing skills, and also metallic, like the sense of where the lighting is coming from. That's how I improve, at least. Continuing? That's little bit contrasted you know like for clothing there's usually some uh, silver lining which has a slight reflective surface that's what I'm I'm trying to make here and of course use a darker color later over it again. Which now it looks actually quite nice. It's not that bad. And then get dark color just to paint it in a little bit of shape besides the like lightings to make the white lighting pop out even more. Just the areas which there are high concentration of it. Example the clouds. Yeah, that looks nice. More variations. And you can already create variations with only three colors. Base color, the shade, like the shade, and the white highlight, or you could add another layer before the highlight, which is the basic shading. That's how I mainly decipher the shading process. And it was zoom out. It looks pretty nice. And I want to test it with a lower opacity. Yep, blends in pretty well. Uh, keep it like that because we're gonna merge it at the end, anyways. And same thing with this one. I'm gonna try to do a little opacity. Doesn't make a difference because the background is light, so I'm gonna keep it as it is. I think we're done with one side. And for the other, which will be harder because we didn't quite draw that much of a reference. And yes, I will extend the stream for a bit longer for 30 minutes because i spent the first 30 wasted on like the cable thing and i'm gonna draw in the other side of the pattern turn on the layer for this i'm gonna turn, use the technical pencil again and draw in the main body of the dragon Yeah, that's nice. And I'm gonna add some bubbles since I saw myself join them. Beautiful. 
Y vamos a I think the body is too thin. So I don't know if I make it a thick. Okay, I'm gonna make this black. Start trying to cut this first. This would be a long process, but. I like drawing this. It's really comforting. Somehow. And the lag comes because the layer is starting to get a bit too much for my iPad to handle. I think live streams is a really good way for you to like get things done either for the audience and the streamer as well. Actually, I don't like the bubbles here. I'm going to add it something else later. Now, it should curve over. Same with the other side. This and it curves over again. Wait, get this right. Okay, we got the basic shape now, and I found that I forgot to paint it properly. So I'm gonna use the same brush. Over it. Same with this side. Then we can go back. Then we're gonna start painting the scales again. Scales are getting bigger. <laughs> it's hard to keep consistency. Oops. Oh, it's because the first. Oh, I get it now. I get it now. Yes. Then it wouldn't be weird. Oops. Too big. background music a bit. And stop. Over here. I'm gonna move this for a bit so that we could have another music loop. I'm gonna do this. If you are thinking of making like just some loops for your back streaming background music, like video, not music videos, uh, YouTube videos in general, I use soundtrack to avoid copyright right now, and the free version allows you to use some of the loops to create uh, some simple background music. Which is really nice, I would really recommend. And then you just need to upload it as the mp3 file and use it. Nice scales. Let's 
this should be the last of the stories we need to draw in. And again, we're going to make it shinier as well. Yes. Not bad, not bad. I like how this is looking. Yes, we're done. There we go. There's the dragon body. And now I think we could add the bubbles on the side. And for this, I feel like the illustration brush would do a better job at making circles. Slowly. Make it bigger. The other side. Yeah. And for this center part, I feel like we could add some simple wave patterns. Because it won't be seen after all. But I will refine it in the, what do you call it, record sheet, if I have time, again. <laughs> and then, we're gonna do the same thing with this part. myself to the so I'm still gonna add some I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side so have some just simple curves. arms pattern with that so basically wait we could have different like cut off patterns of curves yeah, that's a nice idea it will resemble claw marks but also waves i'm such a genius <laughs> Actually, make this look like uh, what do you call it? Fire soul things. That's how I'm good call them. Like this. But what did I tell you? Reduction is a really good way to create patterns. Actually, I don't need this part. It will be too much branching. So, so, one, two, 
this. You're looking nice. Perhaps some over here. Right to the dragon's body. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to the alpha lock. Use a white color right here. Go through the whole thing. With a bigger brush, of course, so that we can use it lightly. My favorite part, dragon scales. Okay, now a dark color. Too big of a mushroom. Oops. And add the shadows to the white color. So well, it looks fine. I think this is too dark. Yeah. There we go. And then we turn down the opacity, and it blends perfectly. And I'm going to mark it right now, one by one, because we don't want the opacity to change. Look at the jacket, it looks so good. Okay, let me try turning both of this on and off. Merge the line right now. <gasps> oh wow. He looks so fancy now. Oh my god, it's so pretty. But, if we do have the time, we will start doing the upper like the inner clothes as well. So I'm gonna turn off this. And I'm gonna start off the easy part, which is the checker part. I yes, I'm being lazy. I'm just drawing straight lines. I'm gonna fix it. But not now. <gasps> I forgot to turn off drawing assist. No. I do I'm gonna start it on another layer. Flipping mask. I don't need drawing assist. Straight lines. Doesn't need to be too straight because we need to fix it later. And extend it from top to bottom. Oops, too close. There we go. And then across. Extend it a bit more underneath. I didn't separate the collar layer as well because we won't be moving too much. That part. And I think it's safe to start the button line across so that we don't go over the line and paint it outside of the boundary. I am going to change the color of the grits because I don't think like pink is the theme. <laughs> 
changes the blue. So we'll leave. Yeah, much better. And then I am going to use the white. Do I need white color actually? I'm gonna try if white is better. It's easier to tell from the button, so I'm gonna use white. And to fix the area, I'm gonna turn off alpha mode, turn on liquefy, and then just push the lines to where they should be. It should go from up here downwards, but up a bit again. This side uses the for sure. So I could slowly push things upwards. Like this. This should be a bit down. A bit over. And it looks more natural now. I'm gonna turn off the opacity a bit. And actually, I'm gonna sh start shading the base. And I'm gonna use the color on the coat for reference. This is the light color. Turn off the brush a bit. The so light should come from up here, so I'm going to paint it the color, shade the color first, use a slightly darker color to balance out, same with this part. Appears lighter than purple, color fury, all that stuff. I'm gonna use it the same areas of the light. And a bit of curve here. And because the uniform should be really rigid and stable, so it shouldn't be that much shading. Just lighter colors where the jacket isn't present. But if we turn off the jacket, it will look weird. So we'll use the same color. Shape for a bit more. Also, what I found is that if you desaturate some of the colors, it will tend to look cooler, which means it will go back to like a bluish color tone, if you get what I'm saying. Or if you're not interested at all, just like watch me draw. Slightly better shading here. A more gradual shade to dark colors. So fold backwards. It's the same dark color. I'm going to turn the fold and gradually to the other parts of the shirt. I'm 
gonna add like a description on what you can do with the model I just drawn and they could follow that guy to apply different things throughout their rigging process. He got apps so give it a little bit of lighting. My upcoming son is not playing if someone calls him to have some booba. <laughs> yeah, that's too obvious. <laughs> I'll make it less obvious with this. Let's make it square. Not booba anymore. Oh, it <laughs> the curves makes it look more of, of you know, that thing. What are we gonna do? <laughs> oh my god, you're a juicy boy. I hope that works. I promise this isn't intentional. You're just a really juicy boy. But it's not white though. So, smooth like. I don't want it to be color of the color work. Nope. Hue. Why is it yellow? I want this works the best. Besides that, we're gonna. Oops, I'm gonna work on the um, center part, which is, are the buttons. And I want the shirt to have more contrast to show the front part to the bottom part. So I'm gonna get a darker color just to go over the light parts. Oh, also the armpits should have some folds. Take that lighter color, and this should go over here. Same with this side. Blend it a bit. Same with this side because I don't want the folds to be that harsh. Yeah, that looks good. And same with the upper part. It's gonna be a bit of a stretch. So, a fold is necessary for this part. And some shadows. Just imagine where the uh, points would converge. For the entire clove, and that would maybe would have a you would have an easier time to draw like clove wing folds. Just think, where would I put the force towards, and then just focus on that point and extend the line in a curve shape. Yeah, pretty decent clothes. My my son is going to have quite easy clothes. And I don't know, maybe they could be famous? And I'm 
gladly going to help them draw like new outfits because they are my sons and daughter. <laughs> Don't forget about the daughter. <laughs> yeah, quite nice. This looks a bit fun. Blend it out the face so that it doesn't look weird. And oh, that switch. Blend this whole part so that it doesn't look awkward. Yeah, 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 it looks nice. And the buttons. Wait, okay, actually, I don't want this to be a little hard. So, oh, that's too late. I draw it in. Yeah, 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 that looks nice. Then, I pick this color. To the dark gray. More saturated. Saturated means a darker color, so it's the same. It's just more vibrant type of shade. It's going to be dark here, but it's going to be lighter down here, so I'm going to make this shade in half. And then slowly we lower the opacity, and then it's going to get, start getting darker here. Just control the string where you color it in make it differentiate this each other. And everything is about the big picture, so it doesn't matter if there's any gaps, you could use that as a small outline. But, and I put that right here because they are buttons. Oh, that's too thick. Yeah, that's what I call a button. For people who are new here, welcome. Feel free to say hi. We're just gonna relax. I usually do art dreams if you're interested with like art tutorials and art content. Please do consider to subscribe. I'm having a target of 15k to get a new mic. So if you want to be a part of this goal, then subscribe. <laughs> Shameless self input. There we go. Look, it looks much more detailed, doesn't it? And then we turn this back on. I feel like this is too neat of the color. And I'm gonna use a liquify to fix the top part because it should go up a bit and squish together a bit. Like this. That looks much better. And add back and supplement and erase the extra ones to tidy it up. And I didn't forget the other side, there's also a patch. He's a fashionable boy. And for this one, we just put the color here, the lighter the color is, and I'm gonna block up the area. And the easier way to do this is to use this tool and join it back together. Zoom it in. Color in the rough shape, and then just fill in the areas I, did, I forgot to select. And there is our general patch of pattern. And I'm going to turn on alpha lock and start painting in the actual pattern. And a bit of shading before. 
water. Somewhere like this. And actually the light will come off. And some small shadows on this area. And blend it. Rough shading, so and to accentuate it, I'm going to use a dark color to shade it. In. Oh, forgot to turn off the drawing assist. Let's shade it in so that you know there's a patch here. And because there's a patch, there will be a slight tuck of force. Lighting here. It won't be symmetrical all the way. There. And we could continue to actually paint pattern. It's going to be a blue wave. Then I'm going to use a texture brush. Mm, which one would be good for? Spray paints maybe? Maybe. Let's try. There is no harm in trying brushes. Look, it's working. But this could only do with the splashes I need. Another brush, which is much more looser. Oh, this one looks good. Too soft. Maybe we can go to the water category and see what could be helpful to us. Nah. No, we're gonna keep this as the base. Just do it the good old fashioned way. Painting it. Look, it's gradually forming a shape. are not hair so we gonna use a more solid line to define each the shape. be the best wave you've ever seen, but at least not the worst. And get the darker color. Okay. Go over it. This. Yeah, there's our wave. Smaller layers at the back. You know that is the ocean. And then bubbles. Which I will use to spray flicks. To... Ooh, that's too small. A bit bigger maybe? Or we could just paint it again. <laughs> but the canvas is too small. You have to improvise. Paint 
it all over. And I want to design the wavy. I use it for dark, solid lines. To show the waves and the highlights even more. Just a simple outline. Yeah, there we go. It looks more defined right now. Yeah. And I think that's it for today. Again, thank you guys for joining me. I love you guys. And let me show you what we come up with during the stream. Let's see. I like this layer. Merge it, merge it, and there we go, we finished the top half, and also the top half of the jacket, and I will continue drawing it, so stay tuned, I will be posting each day's progress on YouTube Shorts, and hopefully you guys enjoyed today's stream, I certainly did, and I think we have some good progress today. Let me switch the stream real quick. <laughs> OBS, please work. We actually did fix the, uh, what do you call it? The cable at the end. And I'm really glad that happened. But most of all, you guys stayed. That's where IQ and whoever's remaining. Love you guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Also, the giveaway is still open. So participate.